What's up guys, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to another City Skyline tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how you can add in more industrial specializations. Now I don't want you to get confused between uh, industrial specialization and industrial industries. Those are very two separate things to quickly go over it. Industrial specializations is a way of changing your uh, generic industry buildings uh, such as your factories into be more specific, uh, specific for certain areas such as forestry farming oil and stuff like that now yes that is basically the same as industries now industries is where you manage everything so as a good example right next to the area i am now is my farming industry area that i used in a previous tutorial but you manage all of this you place down the buildings yourself you add in all the infrastructure, you manage it, you level up and things like that. Uh, whereas the industrial specializations is completely managed by the game itself and was actually implemented before the Industries DLC came into place. So where you get started is you find an area that is good for the industry you want. Now there are four types of industries, uh, industry specializations you can have and they coincide with your industry DLC ones. So you've got forestry you've got farming oil and ore so we've already quick we've already looked at the farming one in a previous video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the forestry one so right in front of me i have picked this area now how do i know it's good for forestry because it's got trees but how do you know if it's good really so if you come to your little layers tab you can click in here into your natural resources and it opens up this overview. You can see here that this is a great green belt. This has got loads of um, good forestry lands. So green is good for forest, blue is good for ore, oil is in black, and the greeny, yellowy, horrible, babysick color is your fertile land for farming. So we know that this set of roads is perfect for my forestry, but you can't just go placing your RCI here by default it just won't work so what you need to do first is paint an area so if you come to districts and areas paint districts now this is just your generic district this is not your industry area very very different you come to paint district you then as normal click and paint all around your industry area it then does it dale park lovely but now even this won't automatically start placing your forestry stuff down. What you have to do is you come to this first tab that says industrial specializations. Click in here and then come to this first one that says forest industry. Click in here and then click in here and it adds a little tree to your industry area. Now this is ready for your RCI. All you have to do is come into your RCI, paint just like so. So you've got some lovely uh, industry buildings in here. And this is now when these build, these will be preset, ready to go for your um, farming, uh, sorry, for your forestry area. So this also works coincide with any of your industry areas. And what I mean by that is I'm going to quickly go over and show you my farming area. So this is one I did in a previous video. Go back and have a look at that and how I did farming stuff. But you can see I placed this inside next to my large farm. Now this looks very industrial naturally it's part of industries um, but and it is, it is really good it's really useful because you can have this in a separate area and it all shows up you know it's very industrial very city like it looks good whereas this is a little bit more country you can see it's a little bit more compact it looks a little bit more kind of haphazard as per se um, but it does the job in terms of it looks right in the area and what you can do is you can have your farm in the middle and surround it with a bit more industries here and looks really nice. And that'll be exactly the same for the forestry bit. Now, obviously at the moment, I do not have enough RCI to uh, enable this to start growing, um, but fear me not, this will grow at this point. Other key things to remember is that it needs to have water and your normal amenities. So that's pretty much goes for anything in the game. Make sure it has your correct utilities and amenities attached. So that's water and also your power. Once those two are attached, then it essentially is set to go. You can ignore it and it will then build up as and when your industry uh, demands 
are increased. Now, at the moment in my tutorial city, we are heavily in need of residential areas, despite my city growing exponentially. Um, but yes, uh, what I'll do is I will cut back in just a moment when we start getting some buildings growing. Back in a sec. Uh, my knees started to grow a little bit, and we now have some buildings growing. Now we can see here instantly that these are perfect for my forest. We can see that these are Forest Friendly Friends Limited. Uh, Woody's Wood, brilliant. Uh, another building for Woody's Wood. Uh, Planks for Life and another Forestry Friends. Um, all growing up, we just had something else. Here we go. So we, as well as having some buildings like these grow, uh, we can see that these are basically like little kind of sawmills. Uh, you can have logs coming in here and then some planks coming out, which look great. They look really good, well modelled. Uh, but you've also got these, which literally just act as, you know, trees. It just looks like trees, but it's a forestry area, so why not? Uh, here's another little bit, a little lumber mill, so you can see that it was like some trees at the background and it's just an area store. You've also got this, which looks like a little small little shrub area. Another one there. Um, that's, oh yeah, that's literally just a single tree. Um, that's part of the area, that's part of RCI. These are all part of RCI, that's part of RCI. Uh, there's another one, big thing growing here, another lumber mill. But you can see quickly how this area grows. Uh, we've got another lumber mill thing growing here. Uh, this one looks different. Oh, this is like a little warehouse. Uh, but you can see another little area here, another little area. And this will self-level up, this will obviously as and when it increases, it will uh, kind of expand and grow. Now, the key thing to remember here is unlike normal industry area, if I go find one, uh, where is it? It's over here. Where as this has three levels of leveling up, um, an industry area such as this does not. It only has one level. So you kind of, you don't get anything bigger. It is what it is. So it, therefore it's not kind of suited for your city life, but then it's not. It's not suited for city life. This is more kind of making something a little bit nicer, a little bit more kind of in tune with the area that it's in. You wouldn't have a forestry area in your major city. It just doesn't work. But yeah, I want to know, what do you guys do with your little specializations? Have you got a forestry area? Do you decorate it? Do you have a mod in here that beautifies it? You can add in a small little, another, another little areas in here. What do you do with it? I'd love to know. Put in some comment section below or head over to our social medias uh, and uh, send us pictures and stuff. I'd love to see them and uh, I might even do a showcase if we get enough of them through. I'd love to see them. It'd be awesome. But yeah, so with that being said, I've been Scully from Blue Coat Family. Remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, check out all my other content below. Um, we've got lots of content, not just City Skylines, but also some other videos and even some in real life filming stuff, uh, some vlogs and things like that. So go check it out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Catch you later, guys. Bye.